Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So it's Sunday and I fancied adding into my little sort of like collage journal today. Um, we did this one I think last Sunday um, and I thought I would add into it each week. So I've just sort of like um, popped some gesso on here just to do the back of the paper. Um, just to give it sort of like a little background and first of all I wanted to show you how I made these I just wanted to have a play today I found my gold leaf um, so I thought I'd make some sort of like little random sort of um, doodle flowers um, to add onto here today something a little bit different just a nice little bit of flowers and some gold leaf and I've got a little bit of gesso on there so I'll just quickly show you how I made these really really simple and it's a really nice sort of like little doodly play so I've got a little bit of book paper so any book paper that you've got I've got a pen here which is a uniball pen um, and all I'm going to do I'm just going to draw some very simple little doodle flowers now am I in view here shall I go a little bit closer there we go so all I'm doing I'm going to just do a little squiggle in the middle and then we want to do sort of like five sort of petals and then all I'm going to do is just go around these petals like this just to give it a little sort of doodly outline so really it's so so simple you don't even have to be able to draw just do a basic flower shape like that um, really really simple let's do another one here little squiggle in the middle and then you want to do sort of like five five petals because I think sort of like an odd number looks a little bit better just go round the petals a few times like that just a doodle around it like this which is really really simple and you get a lovely lovely flower okay so that's what we got so far now to add the gold leaf now you can either go for the gesso over the top or you can just Put the gold leaf in the middle now if you don't have gold leaf you can sort of like have a bit of paint just use a bit of gold paint um, that you've got in your stash but i'm actually using gold leaf because i found it and i wanted to have a play now to actually stick the gold leaf you need a a foil bond okay so you can get this this is like a glue that doesn't that always stays sticky and tacky okay so let me just push these out of the way and you can get it in most places so all as i'm going to do i'm going to pop some glue just in the middle now you want a really sort of thin layer of this um, and then you need to leave it to dry um, and it will stay sticky and that is what the gold leaf will stick to so you just pop that on like that really really simple oops a little bit too much pop this on and it's quite nice to have a go at something a little bit different um, isn't it so i thought i'd just try and have a little play you might have some of this stuff at home and forget about it so it's just a little reminder of what you can do so let's just pop that in there and we just wipe that i should really put some water on it but there we go for now right so you need to leave that to dry i have a couple here that i've already got and it's hopefully it's tacky on there so i've got a few i've got some bigger ones now gold leaf gets everywhere okay now this is the one that i'm using here you can get it in all sorts of places but i have got a big bag as well here of little sort of like bits and pieces that i've have you can buy it into little little um oopsie daisy big big mess um you can buy it in sort of like um broken up pieces as well so all as i'm going to do i've got it in a ziploc bag i'm going to take my little piece of paper and i'm going to pop it into the bag so i'm hoping you can see that and i'm going to cover the flower so i'm just going to rub it over like that cover the flower take it out because you want to try and keep your gold leaf in the bag because it makes it such a mess and look at that that just sticks to the glue like that i'll do it again on these ones here i just pop it into the bag 
cover it up with some gold leaf just mush it over the top oops shake it out and there we go it's just stuck onto there like that which i think looks nice now gold leaf really really does get all over the place let me just do these bigger ones because they've got some glue on them let's stick the whole thing in there cover them up rub it over the top you can have the sheets and put the sheets over the top but um, for this I think the little bits are a lot easier to use than the sheets especially if you put it in a little bag like this and then just rub it off it just rubs off with your finger or you can get a little brush and rub it off but I don't think you need to look at that look at those aren't they just lovely now I'm going to have a lot of cleaning up to do today I think when I finished so what I'm going to do I'm going to do I'm just going to randomly sort of cut this out like this this is a nice one if you want to just have a play and that's what I like to do at the weekends just do something that I wouldn't normally do oops especially if you have a little rummage through your art stuff and all your craft stuff you'd be surprised what you probably will find it in a little drawer or stuck in the corner somewhere that you haven't used for ages now these ones I'm actually going to cut out just you know really simple don't go around the edges I've left a little bit of the book paper on there and these are lovely to do as well just to go in a little corner of one of your journals especially if you're into your art journaling as well these are lovely just to stick look that's not even shaped like a flower you've got this odd little petal there so don't worry about not being able to draw flowers um, because as you can see I can't um, but I just love the oddness of them I think they look really really nice so let's just cut these out like that so we have a few more perfect pop that in the bin now these ones I am going to just go around a little bit with a little bit of gesso just on the outside but first I think let me just go over this bit just with the with the pen again just on that outline just so that we can define the line a little bit like that and this one love them and then we are going to do a little page so this is how we do it so it's a really simple simple different page today let's have a look let's get look at my paintbrush you can see where it's been it's all very very wonky all I'm going to do is just pop a little bit of the gesso on the outside now if you don't have gesso gesso is a primer um, for canvases um, and if you don't have any gesso use white paint or you don't have to use it at all just cut them right out I'm quite liking this sort of like gesso around the outside I could have left it actually because I'm going to add some gesso to the paper to the page so I could have probably done this at the same time but I just want them to just go on there nothing fancy just a bit um, you know however you want to do it nice and messy look at that love it absolutely love it let's pop this to the side let me just wipe this off and then we are going to get my um, journal out let's pop those to the side this one here so that's the one I think we did last week which I absolutely love so I just wanted to do something a little bit different so let's pop that out like this let's make sure I'm in view let's go back out a little bit I think there we go just going to pop and get my 
matte medium. I have got a few bits here. Now this are the, these are bits from Typology. So I'm going to use a few of these bits that I had left over from a project that I was doing and I'm just going to randomly stick them on the page. So let's get some glue. Let me get my little brush. And we're just going to stick these down like this. Just another nice little art page, isn't it? Nice little collage page. And again, I think doing things like this is good practice for you. Um, if you haven't done it before, it's a good way of um, just working on something without having to really think about it. Now, I have said that before. Sometimes we get quite stuck in wanting things to match and everything to match together that we forget just to play in art and crafty stuff. Up there, let's have a little bit of this on here. Stick that on there. And then we've got a little ticket. So that just makes a good sort of background, doesn't it? Like that. Now let's go. Now these little flowers are a little bit wet, so I won't use the ones where I gessoed. I'm going to stick these on. Look at these. I just think they're really, really nice. Something a little bit shiny. Let's just add a little bit of glue on the back. Now this one I've stuck, used on graph paper by the look of it. Just getting out some of my odd bits of scrap paper. This one I cut out in a circle with my circle punch. So you can go up there. Like this. I will go over this, I think, because you need something to protect the gold leaf. So I will go over it with a matte medium. I'm not quite sure what you're supposed to go over it with. I think matte medium should be okay. It's just you need sort of like a sealer to seal it. Look at these. I love these. A little bit on there. Love it. Love it. Okay. Who doesn't like flowers? Hey, pretty little flowers. Let's just have one more down here of these. And then I have just got some little gold ones. Now these are ones I've just, um, just did the gold leaf and then just cut them out. And I'm just gonna stick these on. Like this. And see where I've just put them onto any random bit of scrap paper that I had. Just have a couple of these. There we go. Gorgeous. This is completely different, isn't it? So a little, odd little flower. Okay, so that's the only ones that I'm going to put on. Let's pop those to the side. Let me just go over these. Oh, do you think this is going to take the shine off? Maybe I won't. Maybe I will wait. I might take the actual shine off that so I'm going to leave and I'm going to 
just leave it like that without going over the top. So let's pop that on. I'm going to quickly dry this. Perfect. Pop this over here. And then I'm going to, oopsie daisy, take my little paintbrush here, a little bit of it gesso, and then I'm going to just add a bit around the edges just like this we go sort of blend it in a little bit better let's go in there okay I'm going to quickly dry this off Now I did make this, which I just wrote just create on here, which I'm going to put on here, which I forgot about. Where should we put that? I think probably there. Just get a little bit of glue. On here. Just to dry it. I like that. I think that looks really nice. Now, what I think I might do, I might actually draw some little flowers on here as well, like we did. Just some little of our random flowers. Side of the page is in the way there. Now, where's my little white? I've got a one of my um, Posca pens here somewhere. That's my black one. Take these out. Maybe I'll use that one. Maybe I'll use this instead to go. Just edge it a little bit. Just do whatever you think you should. Just go with it when you do things like this. And they generally turn out pretty good.
And I'm going to use my um, Distress Crayons as well. I think I will go for the black. Just... Down these bits here. Try and sort of give it that little sort of shadowy bit that goes in here. I think I'll have to go in with a little bit of gesso as well, again, I quite like this, something a little bit different to what we normally do, or what I normally do. I like it. Let's go in again with the gesso. Right, I need, I think, our little um, stamps to give it a little bit of texture on the background. Where's my little... So I'm just going to use these on here. Let's stick it on. Just going to use my stays on, my black stays on. And then just give a little, little bit of this sort of texture. Oh, I like that. I think that almost brings it all together, doesn't it? Let's take this round. Like that. Okay, now I've got the little tiny little dotty one there. Which I'm going to just pop a few on. I do like that. That to the side. Where's my little white pen? No, I just want to do some little, if I can. Where this is going to do with my little Posca pen, really. Let's see if I can find it. Here it is. Give it a shake. Let's make sure we are not going to leak everywhere. That's better. A few little dots on here, look.
I like this. I love how this has come out actually. Something completely different. And I am loving the gold in it. Because that's something I don't really use. It's sort of like the shiny. Well, I do like the stickles, but I don't normally use the gold. There we go. There we go. I think I'm going to leave that there. Now let me just maybe put a little bit on there. Like that. So, there we go guys. That is a completely different one to normal. Let me just wipe this gesso up so I don't get covered in paint. And there we are. So, I think I will leave it there. I think that is finished. So it's almost like a sort of like a... I don't know. I love it, actually. Really, really like it. So, there we go guys. So, have a go at making these little flowers. I think they are really, really nice. Um, maybe actually, shall I just colour these in? A little bit white. Let's use our Posca pen. I think they need to be coloured in. Like that. So, I like that. That's better. Just a little bit to finish it off, I think. So, you don't need to draw, as you can see. Um, very, very simple little flowers on there. Um, and I think that looks great. So there we go, guys. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Please stay safe, take care, and I will see you soon. All right, guys. Bye-bye.